All right, so what's going on, y'all? Uh, I'm sure part of this will get to YouTube, so I'll make a little YouTube intro. So basically, I've been getting back in tournaments a little bit. First tournament I entered, I got smacked up. I got destroyed. Um, so second tournament I entered, it was pretty stacked, and I ended up actually winning. And But the thing is, is my confidence was so low from that first tournament that I didn't even stream it. I just got on, no stream, no recording, and just played. And uh, I won that bitch. So, I could my match. Re, I was gonna record it in match replays, do a little commentary, but uh, I turned match replays off for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why I turned them off. And uh, I was like, I was like dark side to Superman. I was like, no, get back here. I'm not letting this tournament run go to waste. I need the content. So I'm gonna go over my matches on the tournament stream, which is Shirayu TV. Big shout out to them. And uh, yeah, I'm basically going to go over it like that. Okay, so let's get into it. So this wasn't my first match in the bracket. As you can see, my first match was actually a 3-2 versus Guamo. So in the Guamo set, I actually used Melina, who you guys will see a video of me using Melina soon. Um, I've been using her a bit more. And um, so I went up 2-0 with my Melina, and then he downloaded that shit. He downloaded that shit with his Jade. And uh, brought it back 2-2, and then I went for us to uh, clean it up and take the game 5. So my second set was on stream, actually. It was uh, me versus Secure Jabba, who's a very good uh, player from Mexico. You see him deep in a lot of ESL brackets. Let me turn down the volume so I'm, I'm louder. No, you're not late, Toki. It's just I haven't been streaming. I took forever to start streaming. Yo, Hayati Tension, thank you so much for the follow. All right, so whenever I play Akira Japo, it's always like just my typical Gears variation versus the typical Cabal variation. He's very good at the matchup, but I, I feel like I'm very good at the matchup too. So right there, I actually I made Buzzsaw with, but uh, I didn't punish. And uh, keep in mind, like I said, in my first set against Guamo, I didn't use Gears, so maybe that's a little Gears rust. Maybe I should have warmed the Gears up a little bit more. <laughs> So as you can see here, I made... Normally when you make it with that clean, it's an easy sand trap. But for some reason, I just didn't get it. Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna play on probably either that Yaster. Or uh, if the sub goal gets met, I'll play on Gimme God of War. But if not, I'll probably play on that difficulty. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Your turn, it was sweetest turn, sweetest turn. Getting some sand trapping going. There we go. I anti air with sand trap. That was clean. With Cabal, it's tricky because he could air gas. It's tricky because he could air gas right there. So right there, um, against Cabal. Now I need to figure out a way for it to rewind slower. Okay, so you see there, I did down one back dash, and a lot of times with Gears, you'll do down one back dash. You might do back to two. You might do sand trap stuff like that. But Cabal's in counter poke situations tend to jump. So I was just like. I'll do down one back dash. I'll throw it a forward three. If he jumps, I'll catch him. And I'll be able to get that nice little convert, as you see I did there. Boom. Let's see what... I, I went for two bars. Yep. Because my game plan against Cabal is to run. So since I'm running away, I'm just like, fuck, I'll spend two bars. And then, as you can see, contrary to what I just said, I went in for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, the stream doesn't look very good. I don't know if it's their stream or... Do I got on 1080? I do, yeah. I let him do down one to a string there. That was weird by me. I don't, I don't know. Some sloppiness on both both ends. Ooh, that was nice by him though. Into the armor break. So I felt like I was in full control, but then he just took over. Like he was dominating the counter poke. He got that nice armor break. Yeah, it was. Also retrace. Ooh, right there, I, right there, he tried to do down one to some again, and I interrupted that shit. So I didn't let him get away with it. Um, he plays me a lot, so he's ready for short hops. Right there, he gets a big punish. Almost 36%. Ooh, I'm looking for something there. That sucks that back to two doesn't recapture him, but... It would probably be a little too OP if it did, to be honest. Right there, I'm looking for an air to air, but it doesn't come. Oh my God, he can't catch this looking guy. for sand traps. Oh, shit. 
Ooh, he was looking for like a swaggy whip punish, but it didn't work out. That is so much damage. So much damage on the screen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So he does that a lot. He'll do jump back two because I'll throw out a lot of four threes and that catches me sometimes. They did right there. I forget if I came back here or if he went up 1 0. Oh, yeah, so I did meet him roll into Fatal Blow. I was just, I was kind of flustered after, uh. So how did he hit me again? He did, like, jump back too, right? Yeah, so I was flustered after that, man. So I just made a yellow read, and the yellow read worked. What can I say? Why does their stream look so pixely for me? It's like Minecrafty. Is it, uh. Well, making it 720p make it look better? Oh, uh, make it look worse. Like this? Special? The roll of fate? Yeah, anyways, I made the yellow read and it worked. Bro, that's insane. Yosef Retrace. So basically, like, I didn't record the, this tournament yesterday, this tournament run, but I still won it. So I'm, I'm basically analyzing my matches that were streamed. He's got a great sock. He does have a great sock. All right, I got back to running away. Ooh, anti with that 4-3. He got impatient. Back 2-2. Two, two. Here's the thing about back 2-2 two, two is like, you might say like, oh, it sucks that Gears doesn't recapture off of it, but it still does a lot, the string. Like, look at this. It does, it does 11%. That's still pretty good. I was looking for an air to air. I wasn't confident they would hit him on the ground. A lot of people ask me why Shifting Sands works when I use it. It's because I rarely use it. I do fist on block so many times that when I do do shifting sands, they don't expect it. Down for sand trap. Same thing with down for sand trap. If you notice, I do it maybe once a match. Maybe once a match. Right there, I get another four threes. The four threes are killing him right now. Such a great button against Cabal. There, I get the armor break because I notice, I notice why him with the four three. He didn't build the breakaway, but he was gonna have it built. And he knew I had two bars, and he knew it would bring him down a lot, so I knew he would break. So there I got that shit. I don't think it's going to kill, though, but he's going to be close to chip. Back to two is going to do a lot of work here. Yeah, and he's dead. So that's game one, boys. Game two, game two, my read was a dash of down one. I don't know really what I was looking for, but as you can see, like, Cabal, he messed up his... um. So he did he did the jump kick. I think he did it like a little too high. And also since I was crouching, it made the nomad whiff. And I just reacted with the sand trap there. Went to the interactable. Don't know, don't really know what I was looking for there. Just you know, sometimes you see an interactable, you gotta use it. Hit the four three, use the hit advantage to get the throw mix up. A little bit of counter puck in there. Tried to shimmy him, didn't work. For some reason he got hit at the end. I don't know what he was looking for. Got his breakaway out of there with the 4-3. Four, 4-3 three. Four, three again, but I figured he'd stay on the ground, so I didn't look for the air to, and the anti-air conversion like I usually do. Minus 6 in the down one. Cabals like to do slow stuff after my strings, which makes sense because I'm very minus. So sometimes I'll throw in a down one. Just fuck it. Right there, I got a nice air to air. So teching the throw in that situation... So Akira Joppo, he likes him and uh, Paint FZ with Cabal. They like to whiff a jump in first against me and then air gas because they know I like to air to air. They know I like to air to air. So if I jump one right away there after that tech, he would have hit me because he did jump kick right away. But I read that and I was like, let's wait for his jump into whiff, then I'll jump. And that, that worked out. That was a perfect read, as you could see. He did the jump kick right away to, to beat my air to air. I just did a delayed air to air to beat him. Watch this. Boom. There we go. Got the round. Let me know if you guys like kind of analyst stuff like this. I normally don't do it. I normally just throw the matches up. Let me know if you like stuff like this, and I'll definitely upload more. Right there, I almost make buzzsaw with, but right there I did, but I didn't have confidence. Like, at the beginning when I was talking about it, um, oh my god, that conversion. That conversion was nasty. That conversion, it's it's not as hard as it looks. 
it looks really sexy, but it's it's not as hard as it looks, to be honest. If you play Gears long enough, you can kind of tell when they're going to end up on the other side, and then it's just a matter of switching your back forward input. It does look really sweet, though. It does look really sweet. On the other side, like Adele. <laughs> It's a brag. And thank you so much for the follow, uh, Zai, Zai Butalo. How, how do you pronounce your name? I get the crushing blow there. This is a really bad sequence for him. I don't know what I was looking for right there. Why I didn't punish the up three, but chipped him out, chipped him out. Had a really good sequence there. I think I was maybe looking for a jump and I was going to anti her, maybe. But I was looking too hard because I just let him with the up three. All right, so this is game three. I hate the stage. I hate the glare in the back. Does anyone else hate the glare in the back on that stage? Right there, I break away on his 4-2-2. And I, I just down two like a like a psycho, down two to down two. No break from him. I mean, me and Akira Joppa play a lot, so he probably just assumed, like, I was going to do down two to down two. But right there, I do get the breakaway at the sand trap. Looking like a really good round for me. He wakes up buttons, though. I respect it. But he doesn't get the confer. I don't know if he's shaken up or what, but he didn't, he didn't get the hit confirm there. A little strange, a little doctor. Or there, I down one and block. Good counter poking by me. Ooh, I get that 4 3. He's a little too low to convert, though. A little too low. And then he gets the breakaway out of me. Whips on both sides. Ooh, that was a low convert. That was a low 4 3 convert. When I'm, when I'm really hard for Cabals, is when I'm not dropping those. Because that's that was. Look how low that was. Look how low that was. And I still got the convert. That was nasty. Kind of kind of disgusting. Kind of gross. And then he breakaways late. That was good for me right there. And one thing right now is he's afraid to grab me. And I don't blame him because I'm up 2-0. When people are up 2-0, they, they play like fucking maniacs. But thankfully, I was playing kind of clean here. So, like, him reading that I was going to throw him, it didn't work out for him. Right there, I bait. I was down 2. Got the dub. Got the 3-0. So their stream went down a couple times, so I don't know if my next match is in this VOD. Um, there's Scarver's hijinks. Um, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. So this was actually to make it into the money against Chapazo. Chapazo is a very good um, Kung Lao player. It's funny because uh, a lot of the really good players from Mexico, like iScorpion, um, Akira Joppo, Pain FZ, and uh, Chapazo. Yeah. I see them in ESL all the time, but I don't really see them in too many other online tournaments besides this one. So I don't know if uh, Mexico isn't allowed in a lot of the online tournaments, but for some reason, I only see them in like ESL in this mostly. Um, but whenever whenever they show up, they're always in top eights. This is top eight winners. So and I'm going with Frost. I like Frost against Kung Lao. I don't hate Gears against Kung Lao. I don't hate it. But I I've always liked Frost against Kung Lao. I feel like uh it can be hard for Kung Lao to get in on her. So the matchup has actually gotten better for Kung Lao Buzzsaw though, because if he gets a lead, he can just buzzsaw. And then he's gonna outzone you. And I don't know why, but the stream I don't know why the stream is looking very Minecrafty right now, but Sorry about that, guys. I'm not, I'm not sure why that is. It looks... Okay, right there, I made his forward 1-3 whip. That was good. Lau's range is not the best, so with Frost, you can definitely make him whiff a lot of stuff. I definitely... I think it's their stream, though, so... I'm not sure if I can fix it. Because sometimes it's Minecrafty, sometimes it's not. He's trying to get that sweep into a buzzsaw combo there. I wonder off that forward one three. So he did that forward one three that landed this one. I wonder why he didn't go for a combo. I noticed that a lot. Kung Lao players, like against female characters, they purposely won't go for the combo there. Does it not hit against uh, female characters? Or maybe he just didn't hit confirm. Right there, I reacted to Buzzsaw and uh, Fatal Blow to get a lead. Fatal Blow. Can't talk right now. You'll feel with the sub too, the hijinks. Right there, I got a big lead. I got like a 13% uh, lead. On situation here. Okay, buzzsaw. 
He says, if the buzzsaw, he jumps in over my projectile, threads a needle, and takes it. So you might say to yourself, I wasted the fatal. But in my opinion, I still made the right read doing that fatal. Because having the lead in this matchup is huge. The thing is, is like, I got hit by this buzzsaw trying to drill, and then he jumped over my projectile, like, perfectly. I had two opportunities to kill him, and uh, I messed up both. I didn't mess, mess up both times. I got outplayed both times. Um... So I feel like using the fatal there was not wrong. It's just, you know, I didn't uh I didn't follow up and execute on it, you know. I had the lead and I had the advantage and you know, I didn't uh I didn't make the most of it. So I still feel like even though it, it worked out in the worst way possible, I feel like I don't look at that as a bad decision. Some counter poke into a throw. So therefore it Frost does a lot of damage, uh you can't just throw it offer out combos into uh the microburst so a lot of people they'll clam up versus her they'll just block so you gotta throw her throw it um throws them like full screen so if they have a lead it it's really sucks but when it's like even live for when i have a lead i i gotta i gotta throw a lot oh it's an overhead you have some nice corner lockdown there from frost frost like i do put her low on my tier list and stuff but her corner game is one of the best it's it's amazing it's I would even say sensational, so exquisite. That, uh, right there, I'm I'm cashing out right here. I'm cashing out. Thirty-eight percent, no KB, no fatal blow, just cashing out. Keeping that frost pressure. He got a. That was weird there. So he got um. He actually got a down three off there. And you might say, "Oh, Tweety, you're a masher, little masher," but he knows he did this little forward movement. I actually got shimmied. That's why I down one. I thought he was going to back throw me, so I pressed down one. If he would have done one, two, I would have got shimmied like crazy because his forward movement, it made me tech. Um, but instead of that, my my tech just came out as a down one and hit him. So it's a very Mortal Kombat specific thing. Right there, I, so spin has no hurt box, so I like to do backdash spin. I also like to do backdash uh, auger. As you can see there, I actually got shimmied right there. So I'm getting shimmied a lot this set. Sometimes it seems like Right there, I teched again right away. So I don't know why I was so shimmyable right here, especially against Kung Lao. You don't want to, don't want to be teching like that. But right there, I got it. Why did that work? Because in the moment, I didn't know why that worked. Right there, I got a nice anti air. So the punish on the bus. So I'm wondering why that worked. So did he like hold it a little too long or something? I'm not really like too familiar with how the mechanics of bus all work. I wish I could go back like a frame. So he did down four in the buzzsaw. Why did that punish? I guess because the down four made him too close. Either way, I'm going to have him a chip life here. Yeah. And yeah, round one was disastrous. Wasting my fatal blow got killed. But round two, I, I got it done. Round three, I got it done too. So went up 1-0. I'm sure plenty of people go up against Scar like down 2 0. And just like fucking that. gaming. <laughs> right the, so I made like a like a <laughs> mid set realization. And I was like, man, 4 2, it's forward advancing and it has no her box. What if I made 4 2 reads on Buzzsaw? So I started doing that. Very risky, obviously. 4 2, it does like 7%. And they can duck and KB you and full combo you. So like, very risky. But I was just like, I need something that where it's not I'm not trading with Buzzsaw. And 4 2 might be that answer. It's a high risk answer, but you know. Sometimes you gotta take the risk to get the bisque. Or there I jump back. I didn't I didn't follow up with anything. I was just trying to chip him out. Kind of nervous. Do you know characters have like a struggling with like advancing like uh Buttons, if they, like, can't <laughs> right there, I tried the 4-2 back there. It didn't work. Ooh, now, that was weird right there. Like, I, I like, uh, let's rewatch that sequence. So, I, I, like, woke up buttons, but the first hit whiffed. So, I, like, lost confidence, but I still didn't microburst, but I didn't EX. So, that was, like, that's the that's that rust, bro. That's that rust. Like, I know I won this tournament, but I still got that rust. 
he had a really good round right there though. Beat me in the the zoning, got in, shimmied me. I choked on that wake up buttons. Yo, what's up, slimy? Did I say what's up to you, Eric? Ola? I I just woke up like twenty minutes ago, so like. If I missed the what's up to anybody, my bad. Right there, I made him. See, right there, that was a really bad play by me, man. See, I'm seeing all these bad plays. So right here. So right here, he is they, in the last patch, which was two years ago at this point. They made all throws uh, less plus, like by five frames. And that made it so loud. It's, it's really hard for loud to get pressure even after his back throw. So it, he can't just go up and forward one or forward two. You can backdash that. But he could buzzsaw. He could jump. He could do stuff like that. Z hat, if he has Z hat. Um, but I was like, he's going to go in. He's going to go in. But... For some reason, I backdash, and this is what I tell people in my Patreon all the time. Well, I have like two Patreon students, but anyways, it's what I tell those two students. is like, look for combo punishes. Don't look for like, don't, hunt, don't like, so say someone's like minus seven, don't check them with a poke, check them with something that will combo them. You know what I mean? And I, I went against my own advice here. I backdash because I thought he would whip something. And I did projectile. It's like, why would I do projectile? Like, I should have just done back one. Like, it would have, it would have whip punished them. I wish I had a thing to go back a frame instead of like 15 seconds. But anyways, you see, I made forward one whip. I was conscious that I was making forward one whip, but for some reason, I did a projectile instead of a a mid. That's just that rustiness, man. I need to, uh, I need to get that dog in me again. Okay. Right there, I check him with four two again. Looking for a lot of 4-2s this set just to combat Buzzsaw. That was really good by him. Beat me with the air dare. That was really smart for him to do a jump two there. So right there. Um, so like right here, I'm trying to jump kick over. If he did his own jump kick, I probably would have beat him. But since Lau's jump two is so fast, he recognized that, did jump two, and beat me. He's getting a big combo. He's got a big lead. So right there, I reacted to Buzzsaw with Fatal Blow again. I feel like that's always going to be a good option in this matchup just to give you, just to either give you the life lead, give you more of a life lead, or get you close, you know? It's always going to be a good option. Ooh, look at that, that, that down three. That looks so clean. That looks so clean. The way his down three whiffed on uh, back two. Look at that. I blocked the bus off. Ooh, look at that. That was so clean. Okay. Now, what's the read here? What's the read here from Tweety? Am I going to go unbreakable? I go unbreakable. He doesn't break. But here's something really key that I did here. When he broke, I down twoed. Now, look what that took his health to. Look what that took his health to. If I didn't down two, normally after cross head move, you do stand one. Now, stand one, it would have got him down to what? 10% instead of 2%. And then I wouldn't have him at chip life. So now he's at 2%. And he has no last breath because he just broke away. All because I did that down two. If I didn't do that down two, he would be at 10%. And now it would be a strike throw mix up. Whoever guessed right wins the game. Because he has fatal blow. Now he's a chip life. He can't do anything. So that was, that was, as much as I'm saying I'm messing up because I'm rusty, that was goaded by me right there. Like, I recognize, okay, he's not breaking, but he might after. So I'm just going to down two tickets off as much life as I can. And it put him at that perfect chip life to where I could get that back one two into the brutality. So that was that was really good by me. Yeah, that was not that was like checked me essentially right there. All right, let's go into game three. All right, Tweety looking to close this out three zero. Starting it off with the projectiles. I whip there. He doesn't whip punish me though. If you see Frost whip back two, you got a whip punisher. The second hit, I know it's an intimidating string, but the second hit is so slow. Going down too well against Tweety and bringing it all the way back. That's not an easy thing to do. We'll trade there, little trade. Not a lot of people have Frost in matchup, especially a Frost at this level. So I project all games looking good right now. Jump jump one in, stagger into stagger. If you notice I don't stagger a lot with Frost, so when I throw them in it, they usually work. That's the thing with stuff like that. That's the thing with shifting sands. That's the thing with staggers. 
If you throw them in rarely, they'll work, even on good players. And right there, I'm doing like backdash spin. I'm just trying to um throw out some with no hurt box to close it out to shut down his approach. Right there, I'm using the respect of jump kick to jump in with jump punches to get better offense. There I did it again, but it actually opens him up, jumps over the buzzsaw. Right there, I did the same thing. Look how much damage that added. That was so good. The corner pressure from Frost is just so good. Right there, I block his poke, stagger. I tried to get him with the whip punch back too, but he jumps over. That was good by him. He's blocking stuff right now. He's being solid. I'm landing some down force here. I'm not taking my offense. I think I'm... Maybe I'm expecting to up three. I don't know. This is kind of a scrambly, like, nervous moment by both of us, kind of. I'm doing I'm throwing an auger out there just in case he flaws blocks. Chipping away at him. Yeah, and that's it. So yeah, he got hit by that projectile. And look how much look how much chip I'm doing. I did like 10% chip art right there. <laughs> that was broke. Have you ever thought about commentating? Yeah. No, I'm not really too big of a fan of, of commentating, but I might try it out sometime. Seems like Frost had a lot of stuff. Or All right, let's uh, you as well, but let's go to my next set, which I believe. I'm gonna throw myself yeah. in there. Take my okay, so and, uh... me and Hijinx was winners finals, but his internet went out, and he had to uh, DQ to third. So it was supposed to be me and Hijinx there. He beat Scar. I beat uh, Chapazo, and uh, it was but he DQ to third because of his internet. So. We're gonna go right to grand finals, which was oh, me against Scar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's hijinks. He uh, had to DQ. Okay, so. Okay, here we go. So we're playing. Call your internet provider and fucking bitch at him, bro. Like you fucking scumbags cost me like eighty bucks tonight. Okay, so Scar goes with that uh, pole vault and the J kick variation is Frost, which is very smart. That variation is really hard for Frost to deal with. Just because, like, uh, Frost in plus three situations, she's not going to be very good. Her buttons are slow and short. Um, or they're slow or short. She does have some long buttons, but they're shorter. Um, her Long buttons, but they're shorter. Long buttons, but they're slower. <laughs> um... And then her, like, pole vault move, and you'll see it in this set. There's very little Frost can do to be right against that move. Like, obviously, on block, you can do back one or grab. And right there, he's just making me whiff, making me look dumb. I'm trying to get something going there with the up three and the back grab. But you'll see in the set, the regular pole vault, if Jade just throws it out, um, there's not a lot Frost could do. There's not a lot Frost could do, especially if she's not making a hard read on it. Um... One thing here, though, and this is something I thought about after the tournament, because this happened a couple times, is 3-4-4 four, four with Frost. I like the string because it shimmies. But if they jump, it drops, oh like, really bad. So I might stop doing it. People jump a lot on this game. I mean, I don't need to tell you all that. That was a nice punish. See, that move. If Jay just throws that out... It does so much chip and so much damage if it lands. And you don't really have much options as Frost. I could do close bomb, but that just does 7%. I could maybe do like a crazy hard read with a normal. But like if I throw my regular projectile, it goes over it. If I throw out drill, it goes over it. If I throw a down one or down four, it goes over it. Like the amount of stuff that it just like goes over uh, for free, it's just crazy. Like it really changes this matchup. That was a nice counter poke. Into minus three. That does look how much chip that does. It does like four percent. Into minus three. Look how much that does. That does like four percent. Does it again? That's another four percent chip. With my grab, he doesn't punish though. Ooh, that was a nice shimmy. Plus three, yeah. Scar's really good at that. He'll do like uh this is a big thing Scar does all the time. Is he'll he'll uh 
do a poke into nothing, and it'll kind of make you feel like a dumbass. You'll be like, or and you'll be like, oh man, I got a counter poke. He's just sitting there poking me. And then as soon as you think that he does Delia's dance, like a lot of the shittier jades, they'll do just poke into Delia's dance every time. But Scar, he'll do a poke, and then he'll make you sit there and be like, oh man, I got a counter poke. And then he does Delia's dance. It's like fuck. It's like the games that take place in the mind. Right there, I blocked uh, Polvo into the grab. It's crazy because blocking Polvo, though, he gets like one third of a, a grab. <laughs> if you think about it, because it does like 4% chip. I'm, I'm starting out good, though, with my zoning game here, though. That's a big reason J players think uh, Frost is good in this matchup, because you actually have a projectile that can contend with Glow. Okay, okay. See, look, Scar didn't even know I was going to down four, but there's just so much stuff that pole vault goes over that it's just like kind of like, why not? You know, it's kind of like, why not? And then it does 12%. Man, that's brutal. To the grab, that's a nice grab. Hold up. Nice shadow kick to kind of keep pressure. I guess the read there was that I was going to uh, try to wake up with something to get momentum back since it wasn't a very plus knockdown. Right there, I messed up bad. Right there, I messed up bad. That was a punish. That was a punish right there. So if you ever jump against Jade and she whiffs that the second hit and the third hit, like right here, you can get up and jab punish. But I see, so Frost String is 1-3. But I got too excited and I pressed it too fast and I just got three. Look, that was tragic. That was tragic because that was the punish. That was nice. That was nice. Little like little movement into the to think that uh he was gonna do something. And then I moved and then EXJ kick, that was really good. I have a tough time reading Scar's uh EXJ kicks. Right there I forgot that the the uh drill gets beat by glow. So uh, something I've been doing is like so a lot of characters I've been playing, I like to neutral jump throws like a collector. But with Frost it doesn't work out. Like her jump's too floaty. So what ends up happening is I'll just I'll just whip the jump in on the way back down. So what I need to do is just duck or uh, four jump. When did you play a set last night? What's up, Infinis? So what I need to do is either four uh, four jump or duck. I throw a lot of close bombs because unless I'm making like a crazy hard read that I need to like lab, I don't really know too much. Too many options against uh, just random pole vault. It's so crazy that, like, uh, these upper... Right there, I whiff. He doesn't get a whip punch, so it looks like he was starting to. Maybe starting to back two. And that's another thing, too, is like... Is like, Scar probably didn't even know I was going to jump there. He was just like, so many options beat... Beat, uh... Or, so many of Frost's options are beaten by pole vault. This is like, just throw it out. And right there, I jump. And when you jump, Polvo catches you into a full combo, 20, 26%. Like, it's just such a good move in this matchup. And that, that was clean overhead into Polvo. Yo, what's up, Krigma? So, yeah, he actually went up 2-0. Yeah. Because it's like, if I jump, Polvo will catch me into a full combo. If I down four, Polvo will catch me. Down one, Polvo will catch me. Uh, if I drill, Polvo will catch me. If I uh, spin... If I regular projectile, so it's just like so many things. And uh, close bomb is like the most consistent option that I could throw out that could catch other stuff too. Uh, the problem is like you don't want to get into a habit of where you're just looking for that move because it's like she could do so many other things. So I don't know. I need to definitely like lap something there. Right there, I get the down one check. Could have got something way bigger since it was a back two whipping, but oh well. Well, I'm going to keep pushing this one Right there, I'm getting the zoning game going with the drills and the, the bomb. Gets the floss block on my back two, too. Now, I'll throw stuff in to uh to blow up that floss block. So, I was surprised Scar was floss blocking it so much. That was, that was a weird little scramble right there. I ended up getting the down one to the auger, though. 
But there I ended up getting the KB. What's the combo? Is it going to kill? I don't remember. I don't think it... Yeah, it doesn't. Right there, I'm doing the close bomb, trying to hit the pole vault. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just expecting a regular pole vault there, so I'm throwing out close bomb over and over again, and Scar just unloads. See, I don't play against this move a lot, so it's just... I, I know I look like an idiot, but I just, I'm just i so, like, uh, so, like, inexperienced, man. Paul Vault. And I didn't, I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't even know that was a thing, that she could do run into that. I didn't even know that. Did, did y'all know that? Comment down below. Put in the Twitch chat if you knew that. I didn't know that. I thought she could either let it rip, do the EX, which no one ever does, because it's like weird and slow, or do the J kick. She can hit him from her four two into it. What like four two into the run fatal? See, I didn't. I didn't even know that was an option. So I woke up and I was like, okay, worst case scenario, uh, Scar just sits there waiting for me to close bomb, but instead he did a dash up into fatal. <laughs> Yeah. I got a lot to learn, lads. I got a lot to learn about life. A lot to learn about life. Every time I, I do something where I'm talking a lot, like a tier list or a commentary of this, I get so thirsty. I need a water. I think I got one. Yeah, I got one over here. One second. Oh, into the interactable for the damage, hit the optimal damage. 34%. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why I was able to open Scar up. Hold up, hold up. So I did jump kick, and I did it. Notice I did it very deep, which made me really plus. So I don't know if Scar down one or was reading a grab, but either way, it's rare that you open Scar up like that. I don't know what the mindset there was. Ooh, into the for the Maybe day. since Scar was up 2-0, it was just a ballsy up to up to O read, which you know is common. That was crazy. The double glow, the double glow kick and his <laughs> I know, one off fatal. Like, on, I'm not doing a good job of reading those uh, ex glow kicks. I haven't read one yet. I don't think. Okay, right here, I'm playing kind of nervous, and there I read one. I actually didn't know I was going to read one right there, so I, I didn't mean to foreshadow. You can tell Scar really wants to close the distance in this matchup. Yeah, it was either a down one or it was like a, just a up 2 0 cocky yeah. like grab read. Which, you know, I respect. I do that too. Right there, Scar tries to floss walk, gets blown up by the drill. The drill doesn't always blow up floss walks because it's really slow uh, from certain ranges, but if it's close like that, it will blow up floss walks. What am I. Oh man, I'm I'm so ugly right now with that. Like, why did I not do drill? And man, this was such an ugly sequence for me, y'all. So I woke up buttons, but for some reason I didn't do auger. I did microburst, which I get microburst does more damage, but it doesn't catch people uh, like airborne like that. And then watch this, watch this. God, folks. <laughs> I read grab, but I don't do the frost shit. I do the collector shit again. And Scar just ends up, it ends up just with it. Yo, what's up, Stacy? So, yeah, I'm definitely, I, I gotta shake the rust off. That's a big combo. See, right there, ah, that was ugly. That was, see, I'm, I need to practice Frost more because I'm doing other shit with Frost. Like, right here, I did, I did collector shit right here. Red Grab did neutral jump. That's collector shit. That's not Frost shit. And then right here when I got the knockdown. Why would I read why would I read an up three with an outspace stand one? Her stand one has no range. Thankfully it kind of shimmied Scar and I got the win anyways, but Yeah, I I gotta I if I'm gonna be pulling out Frost and Tournament like this, I gotta practice her more because I'm doing like collector and gear shit in these matches. 
But anyways, it's 2-1 now. 2-1. I'm still a winner, so even if I lose, it'll just be a reset. See, like, I guarantee you Scar didn't know I was going to back two, but Scar just figured I would do one of, like, the 15 options that Paul Vol just beats, man. It's such a good move in the matchup. And right there, right there, again, I do that collector shit, y'all. I do that collector shit. Look at this. So Scar becomes plus three, right? Plus three. So my read here is either grab or something delayed. So I neutral jump. Why would I neutral jump? I should be either forward jumping or ducking. So I'm just doing collector shit. Kind of considered a counter pick. People that believe that Frost actually wins this matchup, and then there's people that say, like, oh, because Frost has, like, that. That means, uh, oh, that was nice, though. That was nice. The false block on my back to two into the J kick. Okay. Yeah, I've been playing collector a lot. So, see, you know, yo, what's up, Scar? Ragnarok is going to be so epic. Hell yeah. Absolutely crazy. Sometimes I'll do back to two into projectile because it connects. Obviously, it's not false blockable either. And there's no back two three string, so God, what are you doing? I'm not gonna whip the whole string if it doesn't work. Down four into pole vault. I definitely should lab like blowing up stuff into pole vault. Just I'm, I'm so inexperienced against the move. Or there I get an opening. Plus three. That was nice. That was nice. A little back dash kind of shimmied me. Scar's really good at like doing back three at like the maximum distance. Back two. Random pole vault, okay. That's the thing, man. Like, pole vault, it just beats so many things. So, like, I don't think Scar knew I was going to back two there, but it's just, like, there's, like, 15 options I could do that pole vault's going to beat. So, it's, like, it's kind of, like, why not? Oh. See, right there, again, that's what I was talking about earlier. I, I'm going to start doing 3-4 less because of how bad it drops whenever they jump. Like, look at this. Oh. Look at this. If I did 1-3 here, I might have got something. But instead, it just drops. And then he's plus, and then bracket reset into the brutality. So I'm definitely going to do 3-4 less. Because you don't want to you don't want to use a string that, like, drops nonstop on MK11. Um, even Fujin, like, people talk all the time. They're like, oh, Fujin's back 1-1. Fujin's back when one only drops if they jump, like, real high. Like, you can catch them, like, at the start of their jump. But, like, 3-4-4, four, four, like, if they even start to jump, it's it's GG. That string is dropping. You think Frost down three can anti-air the pole vault? Maybe. I need to lab that. Um, What headset do you use, and how'd you get to stream audio? With the Burkhurst converter and shit? Oh, I, I don't plug a headset into my controller. I never use a headset on PS4. I use a uh, so I use a Logitech USB headset into my PC. I use Brooks converter into the console, and then I have an Elgato. Um, I have an Elgato game capture uh, running it through the console and the PC. I never use audio on a uh, on a uh, PlayStation. I get my audio through my Elgato and my PC. It even says on my Patreon and my coaching tiers that I won't join a PSN party. Like I, I feel like. PSM parties are kind of like, they're kind of like barbaric. You know what I mean? Like, you know how like the caveman eventually left the cave for like a better life? I feel like we got to We got to leave PSM parties for discord eventually. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't ever plug a headset into my controller or anything like that. All right. So bracket reset. <laughs> Beginners guys. Sorry. <laughs> I heard they're adding Discord on consoles though, so that's cool. I'll be able to talk to people too who uh who uh don't have PCs or phones. Okay, so right here, Scar, he was like super plus, like plus eight. One thing I know so is like to, when Scar has momentum, he likes to do uh back two shimmy. Cause shim cause back two it has like four quick hits or like three. I think it's three, it's like three quick hits. So if you're looking to tech, you'll block the first hit, um, but then you'll uh, get hit by the second and third. So I, I just read that and just ducked like a G into the big punish. 
Right there, I read a late breakaway. Didn't come, though. Scar gets that nice up, too. Ooh, into the optimal, into the 23. That was nice. Into the pole vault. So, Scar got 23 there into the pole vault, which that does uh, 4% chip. So, that was like 27, 28% right there. That was good. I counterpoked with a throw there. That's the thing about Cetrion and Jade is, like, their damage is low, but... The really good players, they have sequences where it's like, it's like, yeah, the combo did that, but the sequence, it added up to like a pretty good amount of damage. Right there, I, I don't know if I was looking for the roll there, but it definitely looked like I was, and I just mistimed it. I don't know if I was, though. Yeah, I don't know if I was looking for the roll necessarily. It looked like I was, but I don't know. But either way, I missed it. Right there, I was respectful. Scar, so that that was a good read. That's that shit I do as well. I mean, like every like great player does that shit on this game. Basically, like you block it down two, down two is they got so much pushback. They're only like my seven. What could Frost really do to check here? She could do like forward two. She could do dash up. I I could read back two and just duck right. But if like it's in like our nature to block it down two and be like, okay, I gotta I gotta get back in and hit him with something. But then Scar takes advantage of that and just back too, so that was really good. Yeah, I could have down forward. the The best option there is like, the best option there is to be like, okay, Scar is gonna that ba uh, back up and uh, back to bro. I need to get better at stuff like this, boys. Like this whole like talking a lot. That's why I don't commentate. Cause it's not why I don't commentate. I I don't like commentary uh too much. But like these segments where I'm talking a lot, like a uh, tier list. Big Brother, stuff like that. My brain literally gets scrambled like fucking eggs. You know, like, those old, like, uh, dare commercials in school where the dudes would put, like, the eggs on the skillet and be like, that's your brain on drugs. That's my brain whenever I'm talking a lot. Whenever I have to talk a lot, like, reviewing a match, tier list, stuff like that, that's my brain. You surprised you only got hit with one random... Yeah, the last time we played this, you blocked, like, all the random drills... And also, whenever, like, a lot of the times versus people, I'll do back to two, the back to two string, and I'll let the whole thing rock, because I almost never do. But you blocked it anyway, so I, those two things I wasn't really doing a lot. But yeah, my brain is looking scrambled. But anyways, yeah, there, I didn't get the roll punish. I don't know if I was looking for it, though. And then Scar did the down two into the back two uh, counter poke to outspace me. So the best, the best thing for me to do there is to recognize... Okay, down two is not very minus or spacing. Let me just duck the the back two. That's the read there. But then Scar could read that, and then uh, you know, it's just games that take place in the mind. So right there, that was ah oh man. Like you might like reading, like watching it back. Like people in the comment might be like, oh, that was some bullshit. But here's the thing, right? If I'm reading like a grab or like a string or something, I shouldn't be forward jumping with Frost. Or not forward jumping, neutral jumping. I should be forward jumping. I should either forward jump or just duck. Because, dude, her jump is so floaty and weird. Like, it just never works out. Like, as we have seen in the set. So, like, yeah, that was kind of a bullshit moment. But I shouldn't be doing that anyways. Like, I'm playing, like, collector. <laughs> like, I shouldn't be doing that anyways. And then I do it again. Like, I need to get out of that collector state of mind. Collector state of mind. Dun, dun. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Okay. Okay, nice pole vault. That would have uh almost chipped me too, even if I blocked. <laughs> right here I mess up. I go for the double down two, doesn't work out. One second, y'all. I think my food's here actually. Alright, y'all, I am back. Can you guys hear me? Um So for those who have joined the stream since I came back. So basically yesterday, I yoza Poseidon. So basically yesterday, so here's the thing, right? You guys know me as like Tweety. You know, I was a top player for a long time, stuff like that. Ring number one in the world in 2018 for most of the year, yada, yada. <laughs> but um, recently I've been extremely washed. Uh, I spent October and uh, September and August not really playing MK. So I'm extremely washed up. But I've been trying to get back into it. Like this month, I've been trying to get back into it. 
I entered that Rosie tournament. I got ex- I got extremely smoked. Um, so this is my second tournament back, and I actually won it. But my confidence was so low after the Rosie tournament that I was just like, I'm not even going to stream it or record this. I'm just going to play. I end up winning the tournament. And I'm like, man, that would have been great content. So I pulled up their stream. And I'm just like, fuck that. Get back here. I'm like Dark Souls Superman. I'm like, get back here, content. I'm not losing you. <laughs> so basically, like, I'm just going over my matches on the stream. I hope Poseidon and Scash don't mind. And uh, yeah. So we're in grand finals right now. Um, it's 0 0 between me and Scar. Yeah, he's doing stuff. Rosie? Oh, my bad. What? What is it, Rossi? Right there, Scar with the neutral jump. That was good. Uh, the pole vault. Tried to counter poke there with 3 4. Tried to get a shimmy. In hindsight, I don't know if that's the best option. Right there, the neutral jump finally worked. It does work sometimes, but. Right there, so. The way drill works is it doesn't launch long enough to, uh, to stop them from breaking away from point blank. But you see the way back two knocks him away, it ends up launching there, and that's actually far enough away to where you can get it. Yo! That's actually true, High Jinx, I agree. Bro. But we take those. Hold up, what is this gonna do? Safe. You're safe, you're fine here. Everything's okay, don't worry about it. Bam! Bro! <laughs> so right there, I don't know what the read was for Scar. Oh um, maybe Scar wanted to glow up, so uh he could get around like ice augers in the regular projectile and figured I would be doing like close bomb to look for pole vault. So that was probably the read. Yo, what's up, D7? Right there was like a like a weird moment. It was like we were both super respectful. So I don't know like what happened here. Why Scar didn't press there? Maybe Scar was worried uh, sticking out a button would make my back two land or something. I, I don't know. That was a weird moment. Anyways, I get the uh, the flawless block on that. The close bomb. The close bomb. That's my option right now for beating that <laughs> that I know of. See, right there was so unfortunate. Right there was so unfortunate. Right there, I dashed too much. I dashed too much. The shimmy worked. The shimmy worked uh, with stand three, but I dashed too much. Here's the thing, right? Stand three is an auto shimmy, so why am I dashing to sell an auto shimmy? The point of an auto shimmy is you don't sell it, you just do it. That's the whole point. But I'm just so rusty and washed that I'm sell. Look at me. I did two dashes. Why am I selling an auto shimmy? If I do two dashes, I should back one. Why am I selling an auto shimmy? And that leads to me getting down to KB. Right there, I wake up jump. I, I wake up jump again. And then Scar Scar woke up jump. That was just a crazy scramble after that down to it. But yeah, that was a big error on my part. I got to skip that for the YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if that brutality will get monetized. But um. Yeah, I just I tried to sell an auto shimmy and it got me fooked. Got me absolutely fooked. All right, so Scar starts the match with Shadow Kick. I start with Forge Jump though, so I don't get it punished. There, I got a big input error, but Scar actually didn't punish that. Got an opening, okay. I tried to go for a shimmy, but it's hard to shimmy Scar. Right there, I didn't uh, auto confirm into Drill. I don't know why or into Augur. I think it's called Augur Lunge, right? Back forward four. I don't know why I didn't do that. Right there, I finally read the Shadow Kick. Finally. That was nice. The double Flawless Walk to avoid chip and to get the punish. Pole Vault over my down one. Right here, I'm so scared. But my down one, so Scar only had... 1% health, so Scar couldn't even take it down one there. If Scar had 1% more, that was a really good read. But I had enough to where anything would kill. 
He's try, he tried it layers. Oh, right there, I went for back two auger just or back two lunge just to beat uh, the back two? just to beat the floss block, but Scar didn't block back oh, two no, anyways. Nice read there on my grab. Nice read. Into thirty nine percent. Damn. Damn. Down two KB. That's pretty typical though for a down two uh, one bar combo, but uh, it's just weird to see that much damage from Jade. Right there, I go for it again, but Scar blocks it. I, I think I woke up jump there. Got hit. Right there, that's rare that you see uh, back two get out space by Frost back two, but worked out there. Because Frost back two, it's a little bit longer than Jade's. But if you don't do it like max range, you're gonna get you're gonna get uh like intercepted, like like a football. Right there, I got a big opening. I looked for the breakaway there, didn't get it. Right there, I blow blew up the flaw spot down four under the J kick. That could have went bad though. That could have went bad because I down for it under the uh, the shadow kick. But if he just did regular pole vault, it would have went over my down four, and then something could have started there because uh, Scar did have fatal. So like one grab or like one move into pole vault into a fatal, I'm dead. So that was risky there, but it worked out. So Scar actually goes Cetron here, and I believe just typical variation, yeah. Typical variation, deadly winds, teleport, earthquake. Round one, fight. Now here's here's one thing that I want to set straight. So I got the chat box. I got the chat box right on my stream. You guys can see what people are saying. Okay, flawless block. Scar, I did not make you pick Cetrion, so I don't want to see any OS in the chat. The last two times we played and I uploaded it, you beat me, and I didn't I didn't throw up any OS messages on the screen. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't want to hear nothing. I didn't make you pick Cetrion, so, you know, let's just analyze the matches. So right here, I'm just mashing. I'm expecting grabs, but Scar is not grabbing. Scar is just doing 1-1 Tornado, which, you know, I respect. That's the Cetrion game plan. I was expecting grabs, though, so that's why I was just sitting there getting hit. Yo, what's up, Aaron? Now, the zoning game is actually not that bad uh, for Frost here. I know it's looking bad right now, but once you get a bomb trade in, it's not looking too bad, but Scar goes in right away with Teleport. Which I, I don't blame him, because he had so much success in that first round. Right there, I threaded the needle and got under that beam into the down two. That was really optimal by me right there, getting that down two. Now, one thing I notice, and that you'll notice more in, in these matches, is like whenever I play against Scar's Jade, he like flawless blocks the second auger or just blocks it every time. Like a lot of people, when you play with Frost and you do auger, they'll get hit by the second one just for no reason. But there that like goes. never happens. Oh, oh shit, besides, thank you so much, bro. Get these commercials out of here. Let's go. That means we're one step closer to uh, Give Me God of War on the first playthrough. Thank you, bro. Okay, so uh, let me just re say that for the YouTube though. So one thing about Scar is like he always blocks the second auger. He's not like a lot of people who are bad against Frost. Like he's patient. But I noticed with Cetrion, he gets hit by it a lot. And I think that's probably just from like brain overload from playing a character he normally doesn't play. That happens to me as well. Ooh, right there, I did back three into in the back grab. I'm just a lot of times when it's like grand finals against a great player, I just I just start getting weird. I just start getting weird. Like, who does fucking back three in the back grab? When have you ever seen a Frost do that? But it's just like, sometimes against these great players, you just got to do weird shit. You got to do weird shit that, like, no one would expect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're on the YouTube, y'all. Not everything will be on the YouTube. I'm going to cut stuff up. Like, obviously, me eating and subs I'll probably cut up. I don't know if the YouTube likes to see subs. Is this, like, a loud notification? I don't know. Yo, Ra's al Ghul, what's good? Or it's actually Ra's al Ghul, isn't it? 
tries to go for the that's a really cool character by the way right there so scar did vine into vine which uh vine is a good option to be uh the frost bomb it's a risky one though because obviously if i jump in or something it's very punishable and I, I like how he did he did it back to back that was a good read i have such a hard time blocking all of uh set your ons like little four two three like gimmicky mix-ups i need to get better at that it's gonna hit the boulder right there so scar got uh i think that was maybe a vine yeah so scar actually made the right read there see scar stand fours i think that was a vine and that would have got me that would have got me there so that was actually a good input error uh for me <laughs> Because you see the bomb it actually hits earthquakes, so the zoning's not too bad here. It's just I gotta I gotta watch out for like boulder momentum. I gotta watch out for vines, I gotta watch out for teleports. And I can use like the knockdown from uh from the bomb to make my way in. Right there I make the read with the the uh interactable on the vine. Right there I thread the needle again, but it didn't connect like it did before. And um like I always say, like with staggers and stuff. Like, they're not going to work on good players just right off the bat, but if you mix them in, they'll work. Right there, I might be minus seven, but I rarely do that. So when I did do it, it worked. I didn't have the bar to kill, though. Right there, I get a shimmy. Scar playing solid, though. Scar playing solid. Right there, I go for a spin. It's no hurt box. Um, that was actually scary, though, because spin, it doesn't go anywhere. It goes somewhere with meter, but it's, like, very slow, and I didn't even have bar. So imagine if Scar did wins in the backup fatal, I would have been dead. But Scar was probably expecting projectile or something, so it worked out. You'll be playing on Gimme No Mercy? Okay. You have some Neptune? Alright, so Scar sticks with Citron here. I started with a uh, raw lunge there. <laughs> Hell yeah. The thing about Frost is her projectiles, they're highs, and they're really slow. So the fact that she has a fast mid special, it might be unsafe, but it works. Because people just sit there ducking. Yeah, the bomb does trade with uh, Earthquake. It doesn't... Vine does get under it pretty good, though, as you can see, so... So right there, you might ask why I did stand three. The fucking way she throws, bud. Hey, yeah, thanks for so I expected one one tornado, so I did floss block up three, and uh, I just got stand three because Scar delayed it so much. Nice rock wall, nice rock wall. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just see Scar hasn't thrown yet, and I'm just like I'm expecting throws, but I guess since I'm up. It's smart to to read that I'm just gonna jump and shit. Right there, I get the chip out though. Oh my, my poor boy's sick. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, Everyone's Woody, getting sick. Uh, on a tournament point here. Hold up. Right there, I get the jump, kick in the lunge. A lot of people ask me, they're like, "Why don't you use the dive bomb?" Number one, I don't think dive bomb is very good. Number two, I get a lot of damage off my jump kicks, bro, with lunge. Look at that, twenty percent. And I load a possible KB, so I think it's good. And I get that little zoning mind game that I start off the match with, so I, I like it. I like lunge. Always have. So right there, uh, back two does punish rock wall, but you, you can't be like max range, though. And you have to input it right away, because it's like a one-frame punish, but obviously with buffer, it's more like a five-frame punish. But you still got to be ready, because... Rockwall, it doesn't have a lot of recovery, so you got to input that shit like right away. Like you almost have to read where where it's gonna be. See, like right there, it wouldn't have worked. Right there, it wouldn't have worked. But right here, if you press it right away, it's just minus enough because it's minus twenty. It's a big opening. This is gonna be this is gonna be rough for Scar. Yeah, this could be yeah, this is the tournament sequence. One last hit. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Thirty eight percent, no crush and blow. Rock wall. I'm just getting maniac here. I'm not blocking. I hate blocking. Right there, I got the dub. So yeah. Oh my 
that's how I, that's how I got the dub in the tournament. Appreciate your IRU TV for putting it on. And uh, yeah, I wanted to. Uh, obviously, with most tournaments, right? Like I just I just record the matches, upload them, whatever. But with this one, I didn't record because my confidence was so shaken. I was just like, let me just get online to play whatever. But then when I won, I was like, you know, get back here. I, get back here, tournament footage. <laughs> get back here. I need you. But um, let me know if you guys like how I, how I did this on, on YouTube and stuff. Let me know if you guys like it. And I'll do more stuff like this, like analyzing tournament runs, stuff like that. Let me know if you like it. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for the YouTube. Later, y'all.